What is going on guys? Can you believe it is already the 9th of September? Man, this year has flown by. It's hard to believe it's been over a year now since I've started, you know, really working on this uh this journal and these videos, man. And I, I actually took some time last night to reflect um everything that's been going on the past year, you know, and all the ups and downs and stuff like that and and what's brought me to this point and uh i'll tell you what man last year it's been a hell of a ride you know i've seen the channel slowly grow and i mean it's even where it's at now is is bigger than i would have imagined i mean i think i checked this morning it was like a hundred a little over 180 subscribers to me that's huge um i just never would imagine that many people you know really wanting to follow me you know again i started the channel really just for my own personal accountability and just to kind of keep myself in track and i find that the more videos i make the more in tune with myself and the more on track i am and when i get too busy to think about the channel uh the, or i guess really should say journal because it's more of a journal online journal than it is a channel uh but when i get too busy to focus on that i kind of lose focus on other things but um life just gets crazy like that and sometimes you just got to switch your priorities um and unfortunately i've let work priorities take over personal health priorities and that's not a good thing so um I'm working you know a lot of hours this week you know and that's not uncommon a lot of people work a lot of hours well over 40 hours a week but I am looking forward to kind of backing off on that you know school started again I am finishing up a college degree and I've been pursuing for a lot of years but right now the most important thing as I am over two minutes in this video of just just digressive thoughts <laughs> we are going to the gym uh, I'm getting a late start it's about at 9 30 this morning um, I did sleep in. I slept till 7.30 this morning. To me, that is sleeping in. And uh, I feel great. I'm motivated. I'm charged. I'm ready to go. And uh, I've got a... Uh, I used to carry this great, big, massive gym bag. When I bought this thing from New Balance years ago, I thought it was going to fulfill the need. And, uh, and it did, but unfortunately, the bag was just too big for what I actually carried in it and uh it got cumbersome and i just didn't want to carry it anymore so i actually bought a uh smaller bag off of amazon i will post a link um to the bottom if you want to check this bag. there's nothing special it's just it fits my gym clothes it fits my shower things and it's full with a little bit of room i can put a couple extra things and it's nowhere near the size of the the, the bag i originally had and the beautiful thing is it was only 17 bucks 18 bucks something like that so if it gets damaged if you know and it's probably i question the quality of the bag but it's not meant to be a long-term bag um but uh I, I i question the quality of it but we'll see uh it's made out of ripstop nylon and it appears to be double double threaded you know like double stitched and the seams and everything so we'll see uh we'll see how well it works and so far it is fitting the need of all the stuff i need to carry with me to the gym and uh so we'll, we'll give it a shot and i'll show more pictures of it later uh right now let's go put this thing into use and i don't know why this guy's tailgating me i mean i'm doing over the speed limit by a few mile an hour right now i'm not gonna go any faster <laughs> but uh today um within the program boundaries i'm not doing anything heavy nothing really lifting i'm just going to do some stretching and just walk on the treadmill and then i'm going to get into the uh, dry sauna after i'll probably be here maybe an hour to most um kind of backing off on the super heavy weight lifting stuff uh just as part of the program just to get my my body going again um weight lifting will definitely help in 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 the coming time um but especially for some of you that are maybe new to the channel and just watching you know go back and watch some other videos the most important thing is when you are starting your weight loss journey is 
not only getting rid of the crap food in your body but starting your detoxing processes now you can never truly 100% detox your body but you can get a lot of it out um, so and really it's just clean eating cutting out the processed foods cutting out the breads the carbs the sugars and stuff like that you know as a rule of thumb we want to live by if it comes out of a window or a box don't eat it and that's just plain and simple um, you know of course there's exceptions to the rules like quinoa quinoa is kind of a staple for protein it's a good rice substitute you know um, it goes great with chicken comes out of a box but you know what I mean it's not processed um, that would be where I would start most importantly anything is just get your food right don't get out there and kill yourself in the gym when you're first starting out because number one you're gonna burn out quicker mentally um, and not want to do it or lose motivation I guess I should say uh, not all of you but some of you will for the most part a lot of you will and that's just the, the truth of it so let's get in here and uh, start this workout so food first get your food right first Here's the bag it's like a third of the size of what I carried all right guys we are done so today I uh, just treadmill today no weights no weights at all uh, I was on the treadmill I'll show you my settings in this photo and uh, sat in the sauna for about 10 minutes of the dry sauna and most importantly pounding water my post workout today was a cup of egg whites to get that protein in me and I had one regular egg in that I just had this one egg hanging out I was like I'm gonna burn it up get rid of it man it's not even 11 o'clock yet and it's not already 91 freaking degrees in North Carolina it's freaking September 9th this is BS <laughs> I am so ready for this heat to be over with I mean I try to enjoy all the seasons as they come and make the most of them but I tell you what it's uh compared to past summers it hasn't been that bad but I'm, I'm over the heat I'm ready for some cooler weather all right so we saw the settings that I was on I tell you what man my heart rate hit a couple times hit 145 and uh, I felt great I mean that's not bad for a overweight 40 year old right God, it's so weird saying I'm 40 I still honestly guys I, I still feel like I'm in my 20s I really do um, with one exception when I do a heavy workout I feel a lot more in the morning than I did back then <laughs> but I really still feel like I'm in my 20s still physically you know I don't know so let's talk about food so when I got up this morning I took my two shots of my multivitamin liquid multivitamins uh, Moa and uh, had a big glass of water and I did a few little chores around the house which is why I got it a late start I actually slept in a little bit so water Moa I didn't eat anything um, but I did meal prep uh, some items and uh, for my post workout I had egg whites a cup of egg whites I get at Costco um, if you're looking to for egg whites that seems to be the most economical all right let's get into food let's get into food I've said it a few times already let's get into food let's start it out like I, I'm almost hitting the reset button with myself and I want to share what I've learned from you you know it's one of those things where I know what to do um, and I'm just recommitting my mind mentally. It's a mental game, it really is. It's making the decision and acting on that decision when it comes to your food plan. And you have to have a plan. You have to know what you're gonna eat throughout the day. You gotta plan your healthier option. You know, we have been so in, inundated with the, the, the processed and quick fix food now that we know it's bad for us. 
So when we talk about eating healthy, it's eating like we were supposed to be eating like we did 40, 30, 40, 50 years ago. <laughs> so, and I think with the obesity epidemic that's going on in this country, I think it's pretty well self-evident of where our mindset is at, including mine for a lot of years. I went for the quick and easy. It adds up when you're telling yourself just, uh, you know, oh, I'll just have a hamburger today and then I'll start tomorrow. So that, that first and foremost, is that's the, the, the bullshit that you got to get rid of in your mind. You know, <clears throat> you got to get rid of that mindset. I'll just have this now and I'll start tomorrow or my next meal, I'll be healthier. You got to get around that, okay? Understand this, when you are starting out, you know, you hear the word talk about cheap day or cheap meals, put it out of your mind. There's no excuses. There's no excuses. <laughs> you got to put it out of your mind. Understand that you're not necessarily eating for taste, but you got to make it tasty so you don't get bored of it, but you got to eat for the, the results of which your food program is supposed to do for you. And you're going to have to change it. You're going to have to tweak it. You're going to have to work with people who know what they're doing or with this program that I'm now starting you'll be able to figure it out a lot easier because it's almost like having a, a electronic personal coach with you at all times and as well as there's uh, resources out there connected with this that'll help you. It's all part of the program. Still reviewing it. It's coming soon. If it comes out of a box, don't eat it. If you have to order it through a window, don't eat it. And I'm even talking about the salads. Number one, most of the salads you get from a window are made of iceberg lettuce and while there is some hydration and roughage properties to it iceberg lettuce really has no nutritional value whatsoever I, I just prefer not to have it and with when they compound the processed chicken that they have with the restaurants on top of it with cheese and whatever dressing it comes with it really defeats the purpose of eating eat, even eating a salad to begin with you might as well have the damn hamburger seriously um, there's just as much calories in the crap they put on salads as there is in an actual hamburger now, I am going to be showing some videos soon of a new process of what I'm doing to make sure that my meal plan is with me at all times um, there's a couple couple of companies I'm checking out as far as their gear is concerned that will come I'm actually going to call these companies and ask them because they do two, they do similar things with little variants, and I'm gonna call and ask them, and I'm gonna tell them. I said, guys, this is for my channel. It's your company and another company I'm looking at. Why should I buy your product over theirs? You know, and just see what they say. I want to have the reviews for you guys of what would be the best way to go if you choose to go to the extreme that I'm going to. But. Uh, but having that meal plan is first and foremost. Getting rid of the processed crap and the sugars is, bar none, probably the most important thing. Now we get into working your butt off, because you're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to meal prep, you're gonna have to plan, and make sure that you stay on track, okay? So for anyone that's watching this video right now, I have a homework assignment for you before we start getting into the 3x okay go buy a notebook a plain notebook either and I could show you mine when I'm driving either a like a journal style notebook you know don't spend a bunch of money on a notebook you know just you can go right now to Walmart or something and they got the back to school stuff on discount and clearance and you can get notebooks for 50 cents Get you a couple of them, get you three or four, whatever. You know, just get you a notebook. Now that notebook is going to become your journal. Now I do it both on paper and here. I need to do it here more and I'm going to because we are in this together. Uh, we're gonna do this together. You know, I'm gonna keep you guys as accountable of you that's watching, just as accountable as you're gonna keep me. I wanna see messages, how you doing? I'm gonna send you messages if you send me back. I will respond to messages. It might take me a week because I am busy. Get the anyway, get the notebook. Uh, and this is going to be your food journal. You're going to write down everything 
it to. And it doesn't take long to write this stuff down. Um, if you don't want to do it on paper, um, my, if you have a smartphone, my fitness pal is a great way. I look at my fitness pal for calorie content of what I'm looking for, but I don't log on my fitness pal personally. If I ever get a Fitbit, maybe one day I'll do that. But right now, I just do pen and paper, so for quick rev. When you get up in the morning, when you have your wake-up water, put wake-up water, you know. And try to have an idea of how much you drink, and don't just say glass of water. Figure out how many ounces your glass is, okay? Because I want you guys, from the time you get up until you go to bed, and again, this is going to vary on your size, but if you're a big guy like me, again, I'm 6'2", I'm a little over 400 pounds right now. Uh, yes, I did gain weight. I'm gonna be honest about it. I did gain weight back because I got lazy and stupid with some of my food choices. I stayed active, but you can't outrun a spoon. I, I try to drink myself a minimum of a gallon of water a day. Now, that's easy in the summertime. It's easy when you're working out. Um, I've got this bottle here, it's 32 ounces. I've already had about three of them a day. I'm already three quarters when I drink this. I'm gonna be already be at a gallon, but the thing is, is I've been working out, I've been sweating just as much, so it's easy to replace what you've already poured out. Where it gets challenging for me is when I'm at work, because I'm leaving for work 20 minutes after six, and then I'm not home until almost eight o'clock. So when we talk about the meal prepping, I have to take the whole freaking kitchen with me that I'm gonna eat that day. So. That's where my difficulties start, because you've got to eat something every two to three hours. So again, get the notebook. Start off with your water, get an idea. Now, once you have all your measurements in your head, you know what you're doing, you can slack off on the actual writing of how much you're drinking, because you're going to know. But for starting out, just getting your measurements, go ahead and write down what you're eating and how much. All right, food scales are important. Um, at any given time when you're measuring out your protein, Especially when you're talking about lunch and dinner. You know, they say they use the, the palm of your hand as a general size. I use a food, food scale because honestly, whether you're eating you know, lean beef or chicken or fish, you really honestly, your body doesn't need any more than eight ounces at a time. Otherwise, it just stores the rest. You know, and when you get into more of an athletic phase, of course, your portions can increase. But at bare minimum, I try to have eight to nine ounces of, of protein lean meat. Just your homework assignment right now is just get your notebook, okay? And start drinking more water, you know, and cutting out the unnecessary crap, you know. Start with no bread. If you eat bread, anything it's anything it's got wheat, carbs in it, bread carbs, corn carbs, you know, that type of stuff. If it's like a grain, which corn is a green go ahead and just just cut it out you know and it's easy to do it's easy to find other substitutes you know so and I hate it for myself no more donuts <laughs> no more sweet goodies that will come later in the date time and place just get it started okay all right I've rambled on enough this video is going to be completely long enough right now guys I'll come back soon there'll be some more videos talking more and more in depth about this and well guys we'll just talk to you later all right all right i'm roger i'm awesome, right?